uh, at the office, it was it was it was kind of quiet. I mean, as far as like everybody was in shock. Um, Bombfirst.com. There wasn't a lot of. Uh, bombfirst.com talking amongst ourselves you know of like you know what's going on what are we going to do it was really almost like um a military camp where okay you know sugar is setting down the uh, and uh, what we need to do we need to arrange this we need to do that whatever and everybody was about getting their job done and and doing whatever job they needed to do in relationship to Tupac's death you know um so there wasn't you know, there were, you know, there were some, you know, a lot of the women crying and you know, a lot of the homies were upset. Um, the the city, uh, we didn't talk a lot. I, I don't know if you know this, but like the city of Compton was on lockdown. Did you know that? Yeah, the city of Compton was on lockdown because they were afraid there was going to be retaliations all over the, all over, all over Compton. Um Bombfirst.com. Bombfirst.com. You know, I, 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 you know, you know. Again, it's speculation. You know, um, all I, for these are the things I know for a fact. One, the city of Compton was on lockdown. I mean, there was like supposedly people out, you know, looking for revenge for Tupac's death based on they thought that the people that did it may have been in Compton. Um, I know there was, I know I was driving to Compton every day, riding around uh, with a pistol on my on my lap, you know, because I had to go by Shug's house and uh, the house he grew up in and, and, and drop off some papers and do things. And, you know, it was a war zone. Um, at the office, it was quiet. It was serene. People were sad. Um, you know, I cried. I cried at the hospital, you know, you know, just seeing him in the hospital like that, you know, I, you know, I had tears running down my eyes because um, it was sad to see him, you know, shot up like that in the hospital. Bombfirst.com. And then the nurse tells me, talk to him, he can hear you. And, and he was in an induced coma, and I'm like, I, you know, I don't know what to say to him. You know, I'm, I'm standing there next to him, and I don't know what to say to him. And um, it just, it just, you know, broke my heart. We weren't like best friends or anything, but he was a good guy, you know. You know, he he didn't look like Pac. He didn't, um, um, you know, but, uh, you know, that was one of the, the saddest days of my life.